far for a moment, Brian, because we're going to come back to you in a few moments' time because it's time now for the last straw. You remember last week on the program, Keith, uh, Keith from Athlone picked the last straw and he had to go off on a mission with Cathy. Now, that was to become an air steward and Cathy ended up becoming an air hostess on a Ryanair flight from uh, Dublin to Luton. Mm -hmm. That's the route That's you were on. OK, let me come to you, Keith, first. What was the first thing you had to do? Uniform, I had to put on my uniform and uh, we had to wear a tie and a jacket and a white shirt and uh, my hair was a bit like un unacceptable because <laughs> the wrong <laughs> was, uh, yeah. and um, my shoes as well, I was wearing oxblood docks so uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of out of place with my shoes as well. So, so you got organised, you got your yeah. uniform, you have gelled back your hair, whatever. No, it was not Cathy, what about you? Well, what, what well what did you I, I tried the uniform on, that, that fitted grand, but when I arrived back in, the, the air hostesses who were all fantastic, look at, looked at her, at me, with my hair, and they said, your hair can't rest on your collar. So Catherine, the chief hostess with, with our flight, grabbed me, sat me down, and within a few minutes she had the hair all sticking up. My, my own mother wouldn't, that's us there, my own mother wouldn't have recognised me at the end of it. <laughs> what, what kind of plane did you go on? Well, the name of the plane was the Spirit of Tara, and it was a BAC 111, and it, it, it fitted 104 passengers. Keith, was it your first time on a plane? Yeah, it was. Yeah? And, well, it wasn't any different. I thought it was like a bus, really, like, and um, it was great, like, but uh, I felt a bit bad when we were landing, but otherwise it was grand. Okay. Like, taking off and that, it was grand. A big bus in the sky. <laughs> Cathy, you, you uh, being an air hostess, learned uh, the safety routine. Absolutely. Which was what? Well, they, they do this before takeoff, and you have to, you have to, uh, it looks very easy when you're a passenger, but when you actually, actually have to put this life jacket on, <coughs> wrap it all around you, it's not that easy, and you have to know where all the safety exits are, are and all that, that. but we were, we, we managed, didn't we, Keith? Yeah. <laughs> Keith, what, what would you do, you learned this routine, obviously, what would you do, God forbid, if somebody died on a flight? Well, we didn't learn this from Reiner, but I just read it somewhere, that mm. uh, you have to pretend that they're not dead, and you put a blanket on them, and you put a <laughs> Oxford mask on them, and sit down beside them, and put their face towards the window and start talking to them and ask them do they want any music and like, me, really. pretend that they're not dead like until me, I never knew that. A bit of panic. did you like the job yeah it was great dealing with people and all that and uh, the people were very pleasant on the flight and, and what exactly did you have to do it just uh, clear, clear up when they were finished uh, their coffee and their trays and everything and um, just bring put it into their trolley and bring it down to the galley there and um, then put it all away and um, lock it for the customs to check when we landed then was it hard to keep smiling all of the time? No, not really, no, because people were pleasant. I suppose if you had a bad day, it might be hard, but... You went up to the cockpit and you, you met Captain uh, Roger Burke. Would you rather be a pilot now than an air steward? No, I don't think I'd be able to hold the responsibility of all the people down the back, you know, like... Really? And all the switches and gadgets and everything. Really. What it's about confusing. What about you, Cathy? Would you like to be an air hostess? Well, I love the travel. They all, they all get to fly free on Ryanair, and so do their family, and they have great deals with other international airlines. They fly to, look to uh, New York for a tenner. Imagine that. Good. And Imagine Australia that. and all the rest. But uh, I don't think I'd be patient enough, because we only had one flight, and we were exhausted, but they, uh, they have about four flights during the day. Were well, you both wrecked afterwards? Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> exhausted. Oh, I see can, a photograph As you can of you see, <laughs> this is us on the way back. <laughs> Wrecked, wrecked. Okay. Wait, well, just before we go, we have uh, we have a little surprise oh. for Keith. Just flown in. Just flown this, in. This is so, sort of similar. This is for you, Keith, as, yes. a, as a momentum of the occasion, uh, and and another little present for you from Ryanair. This is all from Ryanair. Very good. A little pen for to take your all the orders. And just in case you feel left out, Andy, this Keith. This is from all the crew in Ryanair. Oh, for uh, me? Yeah. For you. Ah, look at that. Look at that. I should.